Hello everyone, so welcome back to this video. So in this video, we are going to learn about Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm is a asymmetric key cryptographic algorithm. Basically, this is used to share a secret key over insecure channel between communicating parties. Let's say we have Alice and Bob and they want to communicate with each other in an insecure channel. So what they can do is they can just generate a shared secret key by using Diffie-Hellman uh, key exchange algorithm and they can use that secret key to encrypt and decrypt the information and they can exchange that information over that insecure channel so without too much uh, delay so let us uh, create a java file and implement our defi element in java so here i am going to create a java class called defi element so in this class we will implement our defi element key exchange algorithm so let us define a main method and let us discuss about the uh, formula to generate a shared secret key in defi element so the formula to generate a shared secret key in the element is given by k so k is the shared secret key Alice we will use uh, this formula to uh, compute a shared secret key so here k is equal to b to power small a modulo p so b is the bob public key which is given by a bob to Alice and a is Alice private key and p is uh, the prime number and similarly bob will use Alice public key and his secret key and uh, prime number to generate a uh, shared secret key the value computed by the bob and allies will be the same here to uh, generate a bob public key so bob will use this formula g to power b mod p g is the generator number and b uh, is his secret key and p is the prime number similarly allies will use this formula to generate our public key the formula is g to power a mod p g is the generator a is her secret key and p is the prime number so without too much delay let us implement this code so in the main class uh, let us define the value of p and b by using private static final big integer so we will use very large number big integer p is equal to new big integer and for the sake of simplicity let us use small number 23 as a prime number and similarly use another big integer g which is the generator equal to new big integer uh, 5 as another prime number so we need to provide in a string format here 23 so this is our p and g so after that let us uh, define a static method to generate private key um, that is small a and small b so to do that uh, let us define a uh, generate private key static method big integer the return type will be big integer so allies private key that is a is equal to generate private key so we will create this static method just right click here and our just we can directly uh, write it here private static return type is big integer big integer generate private key so in this uh, method we will implement our formula to uh, generate a private key what we can do is we can just return a, a random number that is by using a secret random class so we use a secret random class to generate a random number and then just we will return this one so the size of this uh, random number is 32 bit so that's why we pass the number of bits is equal to 32 so now can okay, now we can have a all eyes private key similarly we can also have Bob um, private key as well so big integer private key equal to generate private key so this is our a and b so this is our small a and this is our small b so now let us uh, create another static method to generate capital A that is the allies public key and capital B bob public key so let us uh, write a static method 
So to generate a, a public key, we need to have a private key because the formula to generate public key is uh, generator to power private key mode p. That's why we need a public sorry private key here, and we can just return the value by using the formula written g dot mode. So the big integer had a so the big integer has a method called mode power to compute the power, and we can just pass private key and the value of prime number p so this will uh, return our uh, public key so we can capture our public key here Similarly, generate a public key for Bob as well. So this is capital B and this is capital A. So now we have a small a, small b, capital A, capital B. Now it's time to generate a secret key. So to generate a secret key, let us define a static method again. The name of our method is generate secret shared key and the argument for this is private key and public key, big integer private key. B integer public key. The formula to generate a shared secret key is given by this k. So big power a mode p. Here b is the public key, a is the private key, and p is the modulo. So we need to define the return type as well. private static big integer and the formula is written public key mode power private key and the p okay so now using this method bob and allies can respectively generate their common key so big integer allies shared key is equal to generate shared key and we need to pass a private key of allies private allies private key and bob public key bob public key similarly uh, bob can generate a common secret key here bob Shared key is equal to generate shared secret key Bob private key allies public key. So now let us print out the key generated by the Bob and allies. Here the key generated by both parties should be same. Key by Bob is Bob shared key so now let us verify our algorithm let us run this so as you can see the key generated by by Bob is 19 and similarly the the key shared key generated by all is also 19 so Without exchanging the number 19, uh, Bob and allies are able to generate a common shared key. So, both can use 19 
as a secret key to encrypt and decrypt the information using a standard algorithm like AES, DES, as your encryption algorithm choice. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you.